Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a few moments to see how to work with the folder panel in Lightroom Classic in order to organize and manage our photographs. In this example, let's say I want to put the photos from Greenland into their own folder. I'll click the plus icon on the folder panel and add a folder. Then I'll navigate to the Image Vault folder and create a new folder and name it Greenland. Now, if your files are stored on an external drive, you can always navigate to the external drive and add your folder there instead. Once I create the folder, we can see it in the folder panel. And if I right click and choose Show in Finder or Show in Explorer on Windows, we can see the new folder in the operating system. Then I'll select the folder and scroll down and select the images that I want to move. I'll click on the first image, then shift click to select the range. I'll click and drag in the image thumbnail to drag and drop the images into the folder. When we move images within Lightroom Classic, the images are moved on the hard drive. I'll right click on an image and choose Show in Finder or Explorer on Windows, and we can see that the photos have been moved in the operating system. If I want to add a subfolder in the Arctic's Photos folder for these birds, I can select the images, then click the plus icon and add a subfolder. I'll name the folder Turns and be sure to check the option to include the selected images since I went to the effort to select them. The interesting thing is that when we have the parent folder selected, we can see the images in the subfolders when we're looking at that parent folder which is a very different behavior than we might be used to when we're looking at images in the operating system. If I click the plus icon and uncheck Show Photos in Subfolders, then we can no longer see the birds in the subfolder. Instead, we would have to click on the folder to see them. For now, let's re-enable Show Photos in Subfolders. If I want to view the Image Vault folder, the parent folder that all three of these folders are in in the operating system, I can right-click and choose to show parent folder. Now let's add another folder of images to the Image Vault folder using the operating system. Just because you add files to a folder doesn't mean that Lightroom Classic is going to be aware of them, but we can quickly add them. Instead of using the import command, I'll right-click on the folder and choose synchronize folder. We can see that there are 20 additional images. I'll choose to show the import dialog before importing, and that way I can enter in any keywords that I might want to add. Then I'll import the images. If I want to move these new images to the Arctic folder, I can then select them all and drag and drop them. Now we can see that the new photos folder is empty. If I want to remove the folder, I can right click and choose remove. If we look in the operating system, we can see that the folder has been removed from there as well. If I need to rename a folder, I'll want to right click on the folder and then choose rename. In this case, I'll call it Arctic. Note that you can right click on a folder that's not the targeted folder. Then let's add another folder. I'll use the plus icon and choose add folder again. I'll navigate to the image vault and add a new folder 2023. Then in Lightroom Classic, I'll drag all three of these folders into our new folder. As you continue to add additional folders, we can use the search field to quickly find them. I can type in bears and we can see that folder. All right, let's remove that search criteria. We can also mark folders as favorites and add color labels to make them easier to find. I'll right click and mark this folder as a favorite and then right-click and mark this folder with a color label. Then I can click on the magnifying glass icon and filter on favorites or on color labels. It might seem like overkill right now because we only have a few folders, but as we continue to add more and more folders over time, the search and filter options can be a quick and easy way to find our folders and images. All right, let's reset that so that we can see all of our folders again. There are also a variety of ways that we can sort our images. For example, I can choose from any of these options in the sort menu, and I can click on this icon to reverse the order. Now to create a custom sort order, we can drag an image thumbnail and be sure to click in the image, not the gray slide mount area, 
and when we see a black horizontal line, we can release the cursor to reorder the images. We can also see that the sort order has been changed to custom. Now, if we select a folder that has a subfolder, you cannot have a custom sort order. In this case, using a collection would be a better choice, and we'll cover collections later in this series. All right, a few tips before we wrap up. If you select a folder and want to return to the previously selected folder, you can click the arrow icon in the area above the film strip. You can also click and drag the top of the film strip in order to enlarge it. If I want to navigate to recent folders and favorite folders, click on the folder path and select from the drop down menu. Excellent, that's a quick overview of how you organize and manage your images in the library module in Lightroom. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.